You shoot some great footage, get back to your computer, open it up and see a flickering light causing havoc all over your video. In this video, we'll look at one of the best solutions out there to fixing Flickr, the Flickr Free plugin. Stay tuned. Welcome everyone, I'm Joey Dowd, creator of New Territory Media, where we help creators and entrepreneurs learn how to grow their brand with video. So flickering footage is an issue that at best can be a subtle distraction and at worst can ruin an entire shot. Even more challenging, the most common times you'll encounter flickering footage is filming things that are hard or impossible to reshoot, such as time-lapse and slow motion shots. Another common flicker cause is TVs and mixed lighting, such as LEDs and fluorescence. Before we get into the plugin, let me first note that it's always best to capture footage free of flicker in the first place. If a light or TV is flickering in your shot, you should be able to see it right away on your camera's display. You can try to eliminate or reduce it by adjusting the camera or shutter angle or the synchro scan setting if available. But if you didn't catch the flicker on set or recorded something that can't be repeated, let's dig in how to fix it in post. So, Flickr Free is a plugin from Digital Anarchy that works in Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, Avid, DaVinci Resolve, and some other programs. I was provided with a free license code to test out the software. When they asked if I wanted to check it out, I was like, sure, but I don't have any Flickr, Flickr footage I can think of to test it out on. Right after I sent that, uh, I shot some stuff in the studio here, and one of the LED lights from Amazon was giving off some crazy Flickr. So I had some original footage to test it. So let's jump into the software and go over how it works and uh, if it actually corrects the Flickr. All right, so uh, I'm in my project right now and I had recorded uh, a video. And so I actually did adjust the shutter rate because I was having Flickr on the TV. But by doing so, I created some Flickr with one of the LED lights in the background that I didn't realize. Welcome to New Territory Media. We're a media production agency that helps entrepreneurs and creators. And you can see in the back here, that a video. Each week this light was flickering. Uh, so I applied the plugin and I just used the default uh, option. I didn't really adjust anything else. Uh, and then just by rendering it, the flicker, the flicker's gone. So it worked instantly, which is excellent. i play the clip a bit. And you see there's no flicker, nothing else looks weird or out of place. Uh, so it did an excellent job just right off the bat. This is the original clip. Uh, with that distracting flicker. So um, I adjusted the rate of the shutter. I'm sorry. I adjusted the shutter rate uh, to get rid of the flicker in the TV. So I just shot some other clips just to kind of test this out and uh, see how it works uh, with the TV shot, which, you know, has a bit more movement. It might be a little bit more noticeable. So I'm going to import this clip. And if I just play this clip, you can see it's a pretty noticeable uh, band lines on the TV. Uh, so I've not tested this, I have no idea how it's gonna work out. So let's just apply the Flickr free plugin. And so this is a longer clip, but uh, it's better if you test it out, just apply to a shorter clip or split your clip up just to kind of test it out and save yourself some time with the rendering. So um, I applied the clip, let's render this out. Okay, let me just drop the original in here. So original clip. I have all these band lines, and now the adjusted clip. It looks great. I mean, I didn't I didn't do anything. I have to change the settings, uh, and it got rid of the flicker. Let's zoom in a bit here. I'll just loop this. So just another one, just right out of the box. Uh, didn't have to touch any settings. Just worked worked excellently. So just to run through the plugin over here, uh, so the preset is rolling bands, the default. Some other options you have uh, are time lapse, rolling bands two, slow motion, slow motion two. So these are the kind of the most common of, uh, effects or the most common causes of flicker you're going to have. Either a rolling band, something from a light or a TV, which was both of these use cases. So time lapse with like light changing effect, you know, like a sunset or a sunrise, uh, you're going to be manually either changing your aperture or your shutter speed to compensate for the exposure as it changes. And uh, sometimes those jumps will lead to flickering uh, just, you know, because your exposure is kind of going all over the place as you're adjusting. Uh, so this should fix that. Uh, so I'm very curious to see how that works. Um, another type of rolling bands uh, and then slow motion. So slow motion is another a big cause of, of uh, Flickering when your shutter changes and it's a little bit out of sync with the light sources, depending on what your light sources are, especially if you're on a location, you have mixed sources, fluorescence, those usually cause 
uh, a lot of flickering. So that'll kind of fix that. Um, archival old footage. So I'm curious about that one. Stage lights. I wonder if that ties into the same LED thing. So these are a bit more specific cases, but you know, this default one, as you saw, just dropped it on, instantly worked. Uh, and then this one says, oh, I guess the slower process of user faster processing, slower processing for different types of causes, rolling bands, motion, rolling bands, motion two, extreme motion, projection screen, slow motion. So a lot of presets here, which is really nice because you know, one thing that I always find annoying with plugins is when they give it to you and then it's just all a bunch of controls and settings. And it's just like, I, I have no idea how to set these things. And it's like, I don't want to become an expert in that. Uh, to set these things. So this has tons of presets, which I really, really appreciate. So it seems like, you know, a good 90% of your use cases would probably be solved by one of these presets. Uh, but if you need to dive into it deeper, they have some other settings here and they have a, a pretty thorough document PDF uh, documentation that covers everything and all these settings, what they mean, and also some best use cases if you are experiencing uh, not perfect results and how you can experiment around and fix that. Look, if you're watching this video, it's probably because you have some flickering in your footage that you're trying to salvage. Flicker Free is the best and easiest option out there. The full plugin is $149, but you can download a demo and test it out on your specific footage. You can learn more about the plugin and download a demo at digitalanarchy.com. Thank you for watching. Please let me know your thoughts and other Flickr solutions in the comments below. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel for more videos on live streaming and video production. Take care and I'll see you in the next episode.